Welcome everyone, we got a lot of news for today's video. Listen to this right here. Day 1, Brag Only House from the World Economic Forum. Guys, as we see, Brag Only House is going to be up there. Remittances for recovery, a new era of digital money. Again, what have we been talking about all this time? This new era is upon us, right? A new digital age. And look at that. Remittances have long been a critical source of income in developing countries. They have steadily increased over the years. Brad Garlinghouse, Chief Executive Officer, Ripple, USA. And this is interesting because look at this, Circle is there as well. Now, I'm pretty sure that's USDC, right? So it's interesting. Tether, I don't see that up there, but the people from Circle is up there as well. Now, this is very weird and interesting at the same time. Unlocking ancient wisdom through augmented reality. Seems to me like the past proves the future once again, guys, from the WEF, which is interesting, huh? Now, from the 22 to the 26th of May, if we go down here, look, at, look who's there. Christine Lagarde. Remember, she talked about how cryptos are going to go to zero, right? Because most of these other cryptos don't have the utility and use cases for that. President, European Central Bank. Now, if you go all the way down here, there's a lot of more people, right? Guess who else? The IMF. Again, all these people will be up there. Brad Garlinghouse is up there. Do we see any other crypto people up there? I guess USDC, right? Very interesting to say the least. But what about USDT? They're hiding, guys, as we see right here. I hate to be the one to bring this up, but at what point do we admit that this isn't just a healthy rebalancing out of Tether into st safer stablecoins? USDC and BUSD, but a run on Tether itself, as we see right here. Tether is going down, right, plummeting, but USDC, this is this is just skyrocketing. Binance USD, skyrocketing. Very interesting, guys, right? So, something is going to take place 100%. Obviously not financial advice, but the proof is right here, guys. Don't get caught holding your tether bags. Can you really trust a company twice convicted of lying and publicly known to be under criminal investigation for fra bank fraud? And their executives are in hiding for five years now, as we see right there. Guys. 10 billion USDT redeemed in 10 days. Unprecedented, what do Tether insiders know? Again, there are these insiders, guys, that are in the know. So something, they probably know that Tether is going to go down, right? As we see right here, all you had to do was listen. Listen to this. It's a cycle of life. You begin from nothing and go back to nothing. And that's exactly where I want to be. So I think Terra is going to be the decentralized money standard across the entire blockchain, across all the blockchains. And I'm excited for Terraform Labs to contribute a significant portion of that early vision, but eventually to go back to nothing. Right. Yeah. Excited. It's a cy the cycle of life, guys. I mean, all the signs were right there, right? So this is why I've been telling people, like, everything is in plain sight. But people just choose not to look at it, right? Even if they do look at it, they don't care. As we have been telling and warning people about XRP, right? It's all quote unquote hidden in plain sight. They love just throwing out these clues and hints in front of people's faces, guys. You just gotta listen and pay attention. As we know about XRP, will be the heart of the new financial system. With everything we have seen, why? The Digital Pound Foundation has come and tweeted this. Different systems and different CBDCs will need to be able to efficiently work together or it will hamper the ability of businesses and consumers to make frictionless cross-border payments using central bank digital currency, SWIFT. Again, it's all right here in the pudding, guys. SWIFT is experimenting with decentralized technologies to allow CBDC interconnection. There we go, SWIFT. Guys, remember, SWIFT to be readjusted 2021, 2022, and guess look what's happening right here. Again, all the proof, guys, the Riddlers have already foretold everyone, right? But most people just don't care, I guess. SWIFT the interbank 
payments protocol and messaging system has announced it is working to connect the different central bank digital currencies protocols in development today. The company has partnered with Capgemini, a digital services provider, making a series of experiments to ensure that the new set of CBDCs have cross-border payments and remittance capabilities. SWIFT set to modernize connection systems. Again, remember, SWIFT is what? You know the answer. SWIFT is outdated. It was created, right? Brought to life decades and decades and decades ago, guys. Again, we need something modern and new. Like what? Do you guys know? SWIFT, the bank and payments interconnection protocol, is working to bring its services to the upcoming group of digital or central bank digital currencies. Or they could just update or upgrade SWIFT itself with we know what. It's all about what, guys? The future, right? A new era. Crazy stuff. To SWIFT, interconnection of this new kind of currency will be pivotal for its success while there are not many CBDCs operating currently. According to the reports from the Bank of International Settlements, 9 out of 10 central banks are now exploring the possibilities of CBDCs, meaning that there is interest in the subject. Of course there is, guys. That's where the world is heading towards, right? CBDC experiments. They have been experimenting on these CBDCs and everything else for a long time, guys, and now they're just coming about and stating it, right? The experiments that SWIFT is performing in partnership with Capgemini, a digital services company, are testing the ability of these new currencies to be exchanged among different systems not designed to perform such functions. Oh, ISO 2002, right? So these things, guys, we know where the world is heading towards. Coexist. CBDCs could coexist with traditional fiat currencies using SWIFT systems. Ripple use cases is something to th think about too. Bullish, as we see right here. Now, remember all the partnerships that Ripple has basically, right? And all the partnerships that have not yet been announced. Guys, Ripple XRP is going to be the new Amazon basically. Because Ripple got sued by the SEC, guess who else got sued by the SEC? Amazon. And who else? Tesla itself, guys. So this is just proof that Ripple is going to be a household name. We do know XRP will reign supreme in the digital era, basically, right? Now, listen to this right here from Johnny Deaton. Let's talk about what's going to take place with the cryptosphere, with the prices and whatnot. Did Bitcoin bottom at 25.3k? Some people believe so, and some say we will still see sub 20k. When Bitcoin was at $60,000 and and everyone was bullish to $100,000, it was a good time to sell. Current sentiment seems to be that we have not seen the capitulation required for a true bottom. Again, okay guys, so in my humble opinion, what I believe will take place, we're going to have a small relief bounce, right? Rally, a very small one, and then dump all the way back down. As we see here from Wusen, you are right. There is no bear market. We never had one. People mistake healthy corrections in a bullish trend with something they never saw. Newbies still bullish. More pain to come. It's pretty simple, guys. The more people that are bullish, right, the opposite usually takes place always. That's why do not follow the herd, right, when you're trading, investing, all of these things. So remember, there is no bear market. Look at the yearly, guys. All those things, right? Huge uptrend for not only the stock market, but cryptocurrencies itself. This is why as soon as we dump, right? Lower and lower and lower, when the time does come, I'm going to be buying as much as I can because that is going to be, in my humble opinion, not financial advice, the last train event to take place to buy at very, 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 very cheap prices. After that, we probably start rallying and going and go up and up and up and up and up xrp shark is sweet out so we could visualize it right here from this chart still on track and so far it has been as boring as i imagine this wave four of our c like to be range until we reach targets in june july and then go for the wave five of c down to complete the correction makes most sense right so basically what do we see right here beautiful chart guys 
one two three four five we go back up now probably 33k to 36k and then once we reach around those ranges we come all the way back down guys right who knows what the true bottom will be because it's kind of impossible to really figure it out unless you're lucky because you probably aren't an insider. So, so much seems to be happening this year, guys, 2022. I am prepared and excited as well. But anyways, let's hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys did, please leave a like. So, guys, don't forget to be on my channel. This is an amazing day. And, guys, see ya.